hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is gifty a warm and pleasant welcome to you and to all our returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back and thanks for the love and support i hope you're all doing well in today's video we are making a simple but tasty and delicious eggplant stew we are pairing this with um some yam and plantain Yes, y'all, we're going local today. Very simple, something easy for our Palm Sunday. So I'll have the list of ingredients in the description box below. Let me run you through the list of ingredients. Let's go. For my list of ingredients, I have about two heating tablespoons of uh, chopped up ginger. Okay, I have three minced cloves of garlic. This is green garlic. So it comes in a, it kind of looks like um, a scallion. It has a very mild taste. So that's that. And I have one large onion chopped up. I have um, some leftover Kobe. Then I have, this is the last of my um, opoku and salmon that I brought from Ghana. And over here I have a little bit of dry herrings. I also have a 16 ounce of mushroom. I have a little bit of agushi blended agushi. That's the last bit of it. And this is the palm oil that I'm going to use. I derived this from making palm nut soup. This is um, some leftover uh, sardine in tomato sauce. I have salt to taste, some ground pepper and tomatoes. And I ha still have the eggplant, which is still taking a bath in the vinegar salt solution. So I'll introduce that um, as we go along. So let's get over to the stove and let's start cooking. To start off, I'll add in about two scoops of the oil into the skillet, let it melt and come to temperature. I'll add in the chopped onion and also the salted fish. The, I'm using Kobe. You can use any type of um, salted fish that you have. If you don't have it, you can just leave it out. This is pretty much like potogum shiegum type of stew, you know. So I'm just using um, everything that's like left over, just bits and pieces of everything. So whilst that's going, the onion and Kobe are going, I'll proceed to cutting up the tomatoes. You can also use a, a blender to blend it up if you like, or a food processor. Or you can use canned tomatoes. So just use whatever you have available. All right, I'll proceed to add in the garlic and the ginger. It smells amazing. The palm oil from the, um, from the palm nut soup and the Kobe. Mm, smells great. So I'll let this also go for about a minute and then we'll add in our next ingredient. I'll add in about a teaspoon of the grounded pepper, some about half a teaspoon of black pepper, and also add in the dry herrings. And I'll give it a stir. So from the start you want to cook on a low low heat, okay, so we can um, all the flavors can married together you want to build a nice flavor from the onset it's now time to add in the fresh tomatoes this is a three and a half so i'll cover this and let this cook slowly and beautifully and then i'll add in the um sauce from the sardine which will be about, all together will be about 15-20 minutes until it's cooked through and then we'll add in the next ingredient. Now on to prepping our eggplant, I have about three large um, eggplants, so I'm going to peel it off and then we'll cook it. So I'll cut them into bite-sized pieces. It really doesn't matter what size, but um, because I'm going to grind it in the oven where, or you can also use a a food processor. So here's the eggplant all cut up. I added some water, and I'm just going to add a little bit of um, salt to season that, and I'll cook it until it's nice and soft. All right. So this is how the stew is looking. It smells really, really nice. 
It's now time to prep the mushrooms, so I'm wiping it down with a damp paper towel to remove any excess dirt off of it. So for the mushrooms, I'll just cut off, after cleaning it, I'll just cut off the bottom of the stem and quarter it. Or you can just cut them into small slices. And that's the last one. So that's ready for the stew. So at this point, I'll go ahead and add in the tomatoes. So a little bit of tomato from sauce from the sardine and I'll also add about a table a teaspoon of salt I'll cover it and let it keep cooking until the sauce is nice and thick and um, a lot of the moisture is out so whilst that's cooking I'll go ahead and peel off the yam and the plantain and slice it wash it and all that jazz so everything is ready so it's time for me to add in some water to the agushi to mix it so i'm just using some of the boiling water from the eggplant and i'll give it a mix if you don't have the agushi you can use eggs or you can choose to leave it out At this point, the stew smells inviting, tastes absolutely delicious. So I'll go ahead and pour in the agushi mixture. I want to get everything out of the bowl. And I'll go ahead and lower the heat so we can cook. The eggplant is also cooked, so I'll remove it and put it into the evenware or asanka. This is where if you don't have an asanka, you can use a food processor or you can use your blender and just use the pulse action to pulse it. You can also reserve the water that you used in boiling the eggplant and use it for your soup. I'll add in a pinch of salt and once the yam comes to a boil, I'll add in the plantain. All right, you guys, so I'll go ahead and peel off the plantain at this time. And this is a chill, easy cook, quarantine cook with me video. Um, I, everything that I used for the stew, I've had in my fridge for some time, and it was time to use it up. So I, I hope you find this helpful. Raid your fridge and use off your leftovers. After adding in the agushi mixture and allowing it to cook for about 5 to 10 minutes on low heat, um, I'll go ahead and give it a stir. It smells amazing. It smells Oh, so incredible. I wish you guys were here. Um, I wish we had smell of vision you know, but I'll go ahead and cover this and let it cook for about 10 more minutes so I have that curdle like um, consistency. It's now time to grind, grind, grind. Good exercise for the biceps and triceps. So for me, I'm going for the chunky kind of um, texture and consistency, but if you want more of a smooth texture, then you want to blend or grind it until you have that sort of texture, which was what I was going for before. So you see that I'm adding the rest of the eggplant here because I changed my mind. I made the executive decision to go ahead and um, roughly grind it. So I have those chunks in there. So this is how it's looking. Oh, look at that beauty. And I'll add in the mushrooms. So if you don't have the eggplant on hand, you can just do the agushi or you can use eggs, which is absolutely delicious on its own. And we'll add in the fishes as well. Or if you have a little spinach, just add it to it. You can also use zucchini, so lots of options here, guys. I'll go ahead and cover this and let this also cook for about um, 10 minutes until everything marries together. The yam is boiled over, so I'll add in the plantain. Cover this and let it cook through, and we'll be done. I'll add a little bit of pepper because after adding all the ingredients, the pepper has reduced in its spiciness. So, if you find this video helpful, I really hope you give it a like, comment, share down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so. All right, so now we're nearing towards the end of the stew people are hungry so we got to keep things moving so now i'm adding in the eggplant 
So once it's done, I'll go ahead and give it a stir until everything is well incorporated together, smelling good and tasting amazing. And you want to taste for your seasonings and pepper and all that. Tastes really, really nice. Oh, I wish you were here, guys. The simple things in life, simple dishes are the best. Now I'll cover this and let it simmer for about on a low heat for about 10 minutes. I'll add in the onions. At this point, the stew is done because the eggplants were cooked already. So I'll just let this cook so the um, onion can cook a little bit. Wow, just look at that. I know you are salivating. Simple stew, but delicious. Tell me you're not cooking your yam or plantain already. So at this point, the yam and the plantain are also done cooking, which is perfect timing. And look at that, I'm getting a free facial as well. Could it get any better? Anyway, so now I'm removing the plantains and putting them in the ice bath to stop the cooking process of the plantain. And my did not soon sound fine. You know what I'm saying? Ah, the near do. So we're done here, it's now time to dish it out and we'll give it a taste and see how we did. Alright family, and that is it for today. Very simple meal, but tastes absolutely incredible. All I was lacking was some creamy avocado, but of course in this our current dispensation, you can just walk out and buy one ingredient. So all my MPC lovers, I hope you find this yummy licious. Mansa, shout out to you girl, cause I know you love your MPC. Let's continue to stay safe out there and take all the necessary precaution measures until we meet again. Remember to stay blessed, stay out of trouble, and be well. Yes, stay out of trouble. That means stay indoor and be safe. Happy Palm Sunday, y'all. Thank you so much for your support. Bye, y'all.